give you thanks for the gift of our families and our friends. We have gathered here this afternoon to honor a great woman who served you while she was alive. We give you thanks for her life on earth, and we ask you to welcome her into your peaceful kingdom in heaven. Bless her family whom she left on earth. May they continue to follow your way and know that you love them with all your heart and may they love you with all your heart. We ask you and thank you for bringing us together today from wherever we came from. And we beg you to please lead us back home after we are done here. And more especially, we ask you now to bless us and bless our fellowship. And we ask this as we ask all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Um, dinner is ready, so we're just going to eat dinner. DJ, Chief, I have to make sure that we recognize our Chief. Our Chief will continue to give us some music. So we're going to start dinner, and we'll take it from there. Thank you. Let uh, Madam Brother uh, Anusiem, who departed in the Lord, we're here to pay that compliment, which is traditional, and also to join the daughter and the son in law, my brother. Uh, uh, Mr. Kroji and the senior brother, Uche, and the wives who are here in affirmation. Ada, their sister, and the husband who is also here, and the host of friends who are here today 
to accommodate and at the same time to pray and ask the Lord to do the things he always been doing to people to grant our departed mother that rest in peace in the name of Christ. Amen. We're here because we traditionally we have to open this with color. But color comes in different forms. So Chile can nigue and I know a moment I like it. But I get more men alive because I got my swan no more. My hell and my because I got a Anna, you're too late. I hear all ten men and I, but I was so. Anna, I give me a man on your merry mirror. Nay, I'm a rich boy. Oh, for what? So, Anna, you're too late. When we keep the year, the royal, no lot you like it. Would any year, Oak one Ocha, a Bogano, Nepal in a Kura, Naha Christ. Amen. I know your choir. Call the Sebe, he can make a shan, no more, than Dogia, than did not happen over. I never gave you a girl under. Well, he can walk her up when you're not joining a choir, Naha Christ. Amen. I know you make a little lake. What I need to walk over here. What time is she ever the other back over here? Can you not get like what? Who do I need to know? Not Christ. Because I need to go get. Now go and now why? On your girl alone with the deal. Get away from you. Get away from Obege. Obege is for a long time. Because he can show big care. How many hands? Oh, now push it, push it. Oh, okay. On your room, go room. Yeah, man. But I know what you should be going on the way. Can we keep up on it? Little Anya, why in the Google? Negative battery, so much on your cagani. I'm a proto moon negging the ozone, also crap, cagani. One week in here that last respect. Tianala, Kelekura Chileke, over here, can anywhere. So Ebela Panhoza, I'm a moon, we head the Ute Ute, Mona. Oh, you never run up there. Maka, nena na ubo the beginning of life. Nena na ubo chileke nka e hoga no wa. Mweni of them gara is very painful. Ona adizu to bia, no matter the age, no matter the time. So we ask you to hold your heart and hold it manfully. And also make sure you have a job to do, a very big job to do on earth yet. You have all these small kids around you. You have your husband, you have your brothers and sisters. It is incumbent on you to make sure that you guide them. Your mother has left a job, she has left a vacuum. But you have to make sure you hold that job and hold that vacuum so that it won't affect every other person in an adverse way. So I know you're chileke. Only we can in it. Go on your eye, I can teach you. You know when I can buy you, man. You're in Bogala, Nigeria. Again, when's the Bobula? Yaro kwa mboga alota, okay, mwen sebo abula. Mandi ojo na Nigeria, ndi u Orioz, ndi na u ha hunyo nyoz, ike haga, biko haga aga kuge gnoz. Ano na yo Christ, uzo ule na aga, all that you do, you do, aga amu patake na uvo. Maka ini na virabe na ala, na ata hun. Ega hai pataka, oti yuzi bataya. Onye laro bode ya, yari ho chi ji eme, e ure eme na ha Christ. So one nine one, you be cool. Show big care. Hey, be cool like one hundred. Ndiri na no ga, obi no uku. Ya uri heji o bo mo gine me. He got up that nigga. He balere. Pro ya bi ala. You have the best treatment so far. Mo kero chile kesungwa. Aga aga. Imu imu ki kushia. So ebe manako. You know no na ge ka unwa amuzo zushike. So he gave me a gap where I had the last ride. Gain you a no go, she did care. I'm going to say yes. Why am I wrong? Why am I wrong? But I don't know that I am wrong. But I don't know that I am wrong. 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 I don't know that I am wrong.
Macaro he got no one. Why would I want her to play again? Oh, you couldn't. My high Christ, can I you should begin to act for she be a people. And they can I you don't have Christ for them. I mean,
So I'm going to present our families. Who am I presenting? I'm going to present all the men that the one to do the toast will be my husband Edmund Paranose and Mr. Onara. Please come on in. Or whoever is that is coming. All the men, they're going to, you know. <laughs> Okay, Chuku. Okay. Okay. All right, be funny, no, 
So I guess everybody on your mom here, my name is Dr. Edmond Okranoje. And on behalf of all the Igbos right here in Redding, I will dimpa. I will wine you up and dimpa wine. I am a valley lamb. Everywhere in Jenny, Anna, Anna, who go with me, I hope I did you. Everywhere in Jenna, who go with my Anna, Jim, the man, I say, I am a man. I need you, John. 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 I need you, your mom, when she came here, I really like as her own mother. Right? We did everything together. I need you know. I be no, a, be a, no, 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 believe it or not, you know. Yeah, yeah. When I married, your mom gave back to my day, she has something for me to eat. And I appreciate that very much. You know, I remember my mom and my nursing home. You remember, you know, mom and dad. We were going there almost every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Ekele Limchine, we were getting my one on it. Now, Madame Roda, I know here about one. Amen. Ekele Limchine, I will not cheat there, but yeah. Ekele Limchine, I know here about because all we know here about one, I got a line, double tragedy. Yes. Because in here, I got really going to get a job. I got a job. I got a job. I got a job. So, but thank God she went home and she is now with the Lord, and the good Lord will take good care of and receive her soul. So I now say, on behalf of all of us, Umi will not hear. She for whom me be? I won't be there. I won't be there. Yeah. She for Lord, I won't be there. Right. Mister, Mrs. Mwankwa. Mr. and Mrs. Um, uh, 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 Honora. Uh, uh, Honora, anyway. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mwaba. Only one year in Ugu. But us now Mwaba. So, oh, oh, yeah. I'm a friend. I'm a friend. I know, so, Mr. and Mrs. Alozier. Alozier. I know no the sum of four hundred dollars. I know the sum of four hundred dollars. Wow, one acre with a bar, Hennessy, and this wine, Master Quire Cassie, many, many gentlemen, and a black boy. I know
I really appreciate it on behalf of my family. Uh, thanks for coming out, helping me through this from beginning to end. From the first time this happened, um, I contacted all of you, I'll let you know, and I've seen an overwhelming support from you uh, till date. And um, I feel strongly that we're going to get stronger. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. May God bless you. She was a pillar of strength, of hope, had integrity, was loyal, had courage, and was very determined. Nezine Lolo Rhoda was a devoted and hardworking mother of seven. As she juggled many businesses trade while raising her own children and many others, she did it extremely well by being very creative, constantly involving something interesting and exciting. When I met my mother, several times she has been to Reading. Chidi would be cooking, I pop in, or she's in my house, and she would tell stories how she started her cooking business and how she taught her children at a very young age how to cook. And that cooking spread to hospitality. There's always somebody in her, in her house. Picking from the commercials that we see, I think it's a pizza commercial, and said, what would you want on your tombstone? Right now, we don't have to question what would be a cartoon story. 
what has been written by her family has shown us that. She had much concern for others. She was very compassionate. She was kind, caring, loving. She was very charitable. She made a difference in many lives. She fed many people. When you're a food person, you touch souls. Food is good for souls. She welcomed anybody in her home, and she raised many others with her children and siblings. She was amazing. She was generous. She was loved by many. Above all, all that I have just said would be nothing. But one thing was most important. She was a woman of God. She was a Christian. She believed in who her God is. She knew who she was. She prayed for everybody, like as if they were her children. She put everybody first. When Mama was sick and ended up in Sinking Spring, man, okay. I would call Chidi and say, take a break. I go over there to during meals time. She was more worried about what she is going through than her being sick. She said, look what I'm doing to my dog. I said, Mom, you're okay. We're going to take care of you. Even at when she was sick, she was so worried about the grandchildren who is taking care of them. That's the kind of mother she was, always caring. When I was growing up in a home where we said prayers, I'm the youngest of 12 kids, my daddy would always say, may I have a happy death. In Nigeria, you don't question your dad. One day, someone the courage. I said, Papa, what do you mean more? I guess I'll have a happy death. What does that mean? Papa told me, my dad said, a happy death is when you die, there are people to mourn you. When you're dead, there are people that loved you. When you're dead, there are people that will miss you. When you're dead, there are people that are after you. That's what my mother had. It's in me, Lord, your mom had a happy death. And that changed my outlook in life, in death and dying. And most of you here, I'm sure, in healthcare, we've seen so many people dying alone. Nobody cared, nobody was there. That's not the case. What we're seeing here is just a tiny, mini thing, what's going to happen in Nigeria. This was a woman of faith. For those that are not evils, when you're given the title of Ezinne, that is not lightly given. When you're an Ezinne, that means you've reached Starting level of religious <coughs> climate in the Catholic or Christian society. She had that. And she was also a good mother. Her memories will be left behind, but they will be deep in her heart. The loves we will not forget. I will borrow some lyrics from the famous singers, Hillsong Australia. They have a song that they said, You hold me now. That song goes on to say, No more weeping. No more suffering, no hurt, no pain, no darkness, no sick, no lame, no hiding. You hold me now. You hold me now. We know who's holding me. It's in Neroda. It's not her husband. It's not her children. It's our God, the God that called her home. As our chief beautifully spoke, so it's not going to be done in one day. And I thank you, sir, for those advice that you give to children. And that's the same advice I'm giving you. As you go home, we know where we come from individually. And all of us that are here, as we live here tonight, don't forget to keep her in your prayers. As she goes, as she comes, and her husband and children left behind, we have to reach out to them. When you have met mama, you know you met a mother. I always tell people, because you have children, that doesn't make you a mother. There is a mother. And Ezine Long, Rhoda, and the same was a mother and will continue to be a mother because her legacy lives on. When we don't have a legacy, we haven't lived. She left a huge legacy. As we were told here, she has seven children of many careers, lawyers and different things. She raised her children. She lived a good life. And that has to be a comfort to you. Mama is dead, but she'll never die in your spirit and in the life of your grandchildren and all our grandchildren that she has reached out to. But she didn't reach out only to your grandchildren, to your children. She reached out to all our children in ready. And for that, we're grateful. And for that, we thank her. And for that, we say, Mama, it's okay. And for you, hold feet. So I thank you all for coming. I didn't mean to get emotional, but it's just a wonderful thing that we're not crying because we know we're Christian. We, we, we need not to over mourn, but we know where she is. Again, as I borrowed the song, Mama doesn't have to suffer anymore. She doesn't have to weep. She doesn't have any pain. We know who has her pain. 
And for that, I say thank you, everybody. Again, thank you for coming. Thank, thank you. Thank you. 
That is how important this occasion is to us. Chidi, I congratulate you. I didn't have the heart to talk to you. I was talking to your husband. Instead of talking to you, I keep talking to Kenneth because I couldn't face her, me knowing her. I didn't have the opportunity to know Mama, but the Mama that I know has spoken for the Mama that I did not know. Do you understand? Chidi and I were colleagues, but we are more than colleagues. When I was going to, now that Mama is talking about her mother, it became imperative that I have to say something. I see where she did inherit that goodness. So it was not a surprise. It used to surprise me. Your life used to surprise me yes. up to yes. this moment. Yes. But now it's no more a surprise. So I know where that came from. It's from Mama. When I was in the bush, my burning bush, you rescued me. You know that. She said, I will help you. I said, this problem is not a Niger problem, forget it. She <laughs> said, you can do it. I'm talking about, we were wasting thousands of, almost 50, 60,000 dollars wasted. She just said, I will help you, Timmy. I said, Chidi, I'm telling you, you cannot help me. <coughs> this is not Niger. You understand? Until, I said, okay, well, try your best. It took what I went through for four and a half years. Took Chidi. 30 days to fix. So I sat down and I said, what kind of person is this woman? I, I have never seen that. You didn't lose mommy. When my father died, I was young. He told me one thing. He said, you took care of me. 
say let me tell you one thing everywhere you go you will have try about somebody we always yeah. the day that you helped me was another day that i remember my, my father's way he said some there will always be somebody at the corner waiting to help you my father said that 18 years ago and he was coming through you that's why i couldn't talk to you i know what you're going through but don't be afraid you are mama in another form. Yes, yes, when she can yes. see, it is now your turn. Yes. And it's a road that you have been Thank doing you. very well. Yes. So I don't see any problem. She didn't leave you. Just like my father did not leave me. My father came through you to help me. You helped me. That's why I said we have to be here. We came back 1 a.m. this morning from California. I said, I have to. Even if it's just for me to be able to have that courage and look at your face. I said you did not lose mama. She's in a better place. Too. I thank you very much that you inherit goodness from mama. Because if you have never seen goodness, you will never be good. That's right. That's right. Children learn by imitation. So you've seen her doing this, helping the fatherless, the orphan. That's why you took to it. Keep doing it, you. God is your strength. I thank everybody that is here. Let us be happy. Let us be merry. Let us be merry. We have cause, cause to be. Felicity. I mean, you're here. I'm here. He's here. Everybody is here. Same good thing. Even if she lives 100 years, it's going to be one day. It's not how long, but how well. That's and right. you have seen how well. That's right. So that is a sort of courage for you. God will bless you. I thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.